1986, the engineers of the Challenger knew that it would explode. They had the proof. They called an emergency meeting to stop it, but nobody listened. The engineers saw the forecast at 26 degrees. They knew that anything under 53 degrees would cause the O-rings to fail. They went to the meeting. They showed the charts, used technical language. Increased risk, probability of failure. One NASA manager, visibly annoyed, said, when do you want us to launch, next April? The launch date was set. 73 seconds into the launch, the Challenger exploded. The O-ring failed exactly as predicted. Engineer Bob Ebeling had talked about how much he regretted it right up until his death in 2016. Here's the pattern. Smart international people working in Western companies. They have the answers, but when they need to push back, they soften up. In their culture, it's respectful. But in that boardroom, it sounds like doubt. The engineers were not bad communicators. They were just using the wrong code at the wrong time. They had technical authority, but they didn't have decisive authority in the moment where it mattered most. So here's the truth. Your knowledge doesn't mean anything unless you know how to act on it. You're only as good as you can communicate. The engineers had the proof, but they did not have the delivery. And that little gap cost seven lives.